I've been around. I've been to Macy's. I've been to Abercrombie. I've been to Gap. I've been in the stores. I've seen the crowds. And? Seems busy. I mean, it definitely seems busy, but you know what? Sales associates I spoke to at many of the stores said it was busy today, but it's going to be nothing compared to tomorrow. So today is game on okay. for Black Friday. And what did you see moving? So I think what you see moving, outerwear is moving. I mean, it's cold outside when it's 15 or 12 degrees. We've got some outerwear moving. You have footwear moving on the shoe side. That's working also. We're seeing denim jeans. We have an apparel revival going on, and you're seeing that working. What about electronics? Drones. It's a drones Christmas, and anything smart, whether it's smartphones. Drones Christmas, okay. It is. It's a drones Christmas. That's what people are buying these days. You know, we used to talk about how fashion was done, the fashion was over, mm -hmm. and everyone had just started to buy iPhones. Is that right. completely reversed, or does that really have nothing to do with anything? It's, it's that and. It's no longer either or. It's about with. And especially when you think of all electronics that all consumers want. I was in Best Buy yesterday. It was packed in terms of the foot traffic, and they're all looking at the phones. Is there ever a day where you're going to be worried that your, your sort of tour of duty is being done incorrectly? I mean, the um, reason I ask this is because I was thinking to myself, at least for me, I don't want to go to these stores anymore. It's too crowded. It's too annoying. And by the way, <laughs> I can do exactly the same thing on the computer, which is a little bit, it may ultimately be easier for you to track, but it's kind of harder for you to track by just moseying around. Well, that's why I've been doing this weekly trend report for two years. I look at websites the same day, each week, all the time, looking at year over year, week over week, did the promotions increase or decrease? For the most part, looking at those websites compared to last year, they're the same. The promotional rates, 50%. So, Lala, you approach it from the shippers standpoint, right? right? You do the commerce services, so you see what's going out the door. So what are you seeing in terms of package flow, and do you really get a good gauge? Because what I have found, at least personally, is that when you order one order from one retailer, it comes in five different boxes. <laughs> and so how do retailers make money if they're shipping five different boxes and they're charging me either nothing or one flat fee? You see less and less of it. You see that a lot when they're shipping some of it from a store and some right. of it from their distribution center. You'll see less of that this holiday season. They're going to aggregate orders as much as they can. But the, uh, the online order flow has been great so far. You heard the Adobe stat uh, a few minutes ago. We see great traffic coming in to Black Friday, and we expect that to continue today. What we saw in Macy's report was that the revenues were going higher on, on the e-commerce, but their margins were getting crushed. And part of that was the online side and, and absorbing the delivery costs and things like that, investments. Yeah. Um, how are they dealing with just the costs of shipping? Are they just absorbing it on the large part? There's no doubt free shipping is the thing that consumers are looking for online. So 76% of consumers say that's the most important thing to them. And so retailers have responded to that. You'll see most retailers this holiday season offering free shipping, sometimes with no minimum. And we've seen that with a lot of the largest retailers out there. And the retailers are absorbing that. And they're absorbing it in different ways, but it's now table stakes. But have they moved, I assume they've then had to move all the prices up to accommodate for that cost, unless the answer is they haven't, and that that's why the margins aren't there. I think it's a bit of both. You'll see right. some moving price up and some absorbing. What is the, the cost of a return? I was thinking about this recently because the in, because in of the, all the free returns. Well, because you're in the day to? and age of e-commerce, <laughs> people just you know they, it's like send me five pairs of whatever the size is. Right, and send figure back it out, what you don't want. And, and then, but the cost of just physically handling that on the way back, yeah, making or, sure you have all the packaging or even in the, there and all or that. Or even the delivery back to a brick and mortar store. Now, there's an idea that somehow you get to the brick and mortar store and then you decide you're going to buy more. Maybe that's true. Maybe that's not. But what is what do you, have you guys actually? Actually done it on a, on a on a per product basis. So end to end. End to end. Is it? It costs them five bucks. It costs them three bucks. That's, it costs them ten bucks. Five bucks is the right range. And is it, how how is that different than if you've done it at a straight brick and mortar old school ten years ago? It's a little bit harder to measure at a brick and mortar store because you don't the, that lost labor hour, right? If you've got your store associates instead of selling, they're restocking those goods. It's hard to quantify how much that really costs. Um, Final question. I mean, we're going to be talking the whole All time. All day. <laughs> but the, the, the thing that I'm, I'm very curious about is we keep talking about the health of the consumer, what's happened to the stock market. Do we, do we think, or at least in your mind, and Dana's going to be able to speak to this, I imagine, for, mm -hmm. for hours now, but do you think, when you look at what's going on, that actually things are, are, are great or that actually all of the anxiety and the headlines we've seen in the papers even over the past month or two about China and this and that is actually affecting people yeah. when they go out to the store? So at Pitney Bowes, we serve hundreds of retailers. So we're looking across a wide range and we see the consumer confidence still pretty strong in the shopping so far. So all looks good 
going forward. What do you think about the health of the retailers from your standpoint? It'll be interesting, uh, particularly with labor rates. You see hundreds of thousands of uh, employees coming on on a temporary basis to serve the holiday. I think it's going to, we're going to have to wait until the holiday season's over, but for sure the cost will be a little bit higher this season.